Hands up all those who've heard of a motorhome manufacturing company called Shire Conversions. That's one, two, three, four, one at the back, five, six, well, quite a few of you. But a lot of you haven't. And I hadn't either until I received my copy of the Caravan Club magazine earlier this year, in which there was a supplement all about the Caravan Club's design and drive awards. I thumbed through it, and there, in the category of panel vans between £38,000 and £45,000, was the winner from Shire Conversions. And it looked exactly like this. Well, not actually exactly like this, because the one in the magazine was white. And as you can see, this is black. It's a very stylish, shiny black, which has the big advantage of not only looking good, but it enables you to admire both the motorhome and the scenery at the same time. The name of the motorhome is Phoenix 2XL Studio and like most panel vans there's really not a lot on the outside to get terribly exercised about except perhaps this which tells us that the van has a built-in gas tank which is always a good thing to have especially if you're planning on long tours abroad. So let's have a look inside. And one thing I should point out is that when you actually buy this van, you do get an electric step and an awning included in the price. Most of the panel vans that I've looked at recently have had rear lounges, but this one, as you can see, has got a front lounge. This is one of the things that the judges on the panel like so much, the fact that there's loads of space here and that you open the door, there's no furniture in the way. You can see everything, admire the magnificent view. And there is a load of space here, but of course there has to be because this is also the bed, which is easy to make up. Release the catch and pull. And there you have a very decent sized bed. Let's just check the length. And indeed, it's long enough to accommodate a person of six feet two and a half inches. Obviously there are lots of great things about this motorhome where it wouldn't have won an award but there's one thing that I've discovered that I really don't like at all and it is the position of the television. Now in order to watch the television comfortably you have to sit here or maybe in the driver's seat and this just isn't a comfortable place to spend hours sitting. I want to be down here. But how can I be comfortable watching television if the TV's up there? It needs to be over there. That's enough, Jamie. Thank you. Back this way. So, the nice thing about dealing with a small motorhome manufacturer such as Shire is that if you ask them nicely, I'll bet they could find a nice way to put the TV over there. And then you'd have even more storage space up there. It's a winning combination. Now, you can go back in there. Quite neat. Right, if you did have your TV over here, you've still got space to use this really nice table. Look at that. Flips out and it's absolutely the perfect size to use a laptop or to do your crossword, whatever you want to do. It's a beautiful little table and once you've got the hang of it, it's easy to put back. I really like that. And I really like this too. It's something I've never seen before in a motorhome in this price range or of this size. It is a wine cooler. Incredible. Unfortunately, it only runs on 230 volts, but hey, you can't have everything. As for the rest of the kitchen, well, it really is fully equipped and it's nice and spacious too. You've got a good oven here, grill, everything you need. Lots of storage space. Over here, a decent fridge and what some people might consider a luxury, but I consider an absolute necessity. A microwave oven it's at a really sensible height easy to get things into and out of there's a little wardrobe here and you must note the finish of all these lockers it's this shiny plastic stuff very easy to keep clean and it does look great the big door here leads us into the bathroom and this is unlike any bathroom I've seen, not only in a panel van conversion, but in just about any motorhome. You don't often see an end bathroom in a panel van conversion. This works really well. 
Underneath the sink here, there's a Thetford Combi boiler, but the sink itself, as a result, is so big you could actually use it to wash clothes in, which, think about it, could be really useful. There's a shower head up here, and behind the door we've got an electric flush Thetford toilet and more storage space. And speaking of storage space, what do you make of all these? There are enough pockets here to keep, you, keep your odds and ends secure for years. Shire Conversions have only been in business for five years, but they've packed a huge number of innovative and practical ideas into this motorhome. As I speak, they've only actually built four, but as a result of that win in the Caravan Club Design and Drive Awards, I think that they might have to start planning to increase production.